I think the important thing is, is again, I, I've sworn an oath. Whatever my, uh, whatever my personal uh, beliefs are, uh, I have to focus on, on again, uh, what I swore that oath to, and that was following laws of the United States, the laws of the United States applicable to Guam, and the laws of Guam. It was on Monday that same-sex couple Loretta Pangolinan and Kathleen Agrero took their case to the District Court of Guam, filing a suit against the Vital Statistics Registrar of the Department of Public Health and Governor Eddie Baza Calvo. The same-sex couple was denied the opportunity to apply for a marriage license when they tried to file for one last week. Instead, they were told by Public Health that Guam's laws only allow for couples of the opposite sex to marry on island. According to Governor Calvo, Public Health was just following the law. So as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I want to, and it is my desire, to follow the law, the laws of the land, and I would like to see my agencies follow the laws of the land. But right now we're in a point where there is a question as to uh, a harmony of the laws, and whether it's the local statutes, federal law, uh, or the Constitution. And while he says Gov Guam is following the law regarding the issue of same-sex marriage, it is also being addressed nationally as cases are being heard in the 6th, 9th, and 11th Circuit Courts, as well as the U.S. Supreme Court, which is set to hear arguments on whether same-sex marriage is a constitutional right at the end of the month. Of course, uh, the 6th Circuit uh, question is being put to the Supreme Court, and with that, uh, the Supreme Court has stated that an answer will come June 21st. Governor Calvo says it is up to the legal representatives to see how Guam can correlate local statutes and regulations to be in line with federal law. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I just came back from a trip to uh, from China. For some of these states and some of these governments, they, these lawsuits have been ongoing for years. So it's now a matter for me to sit down with our lawyers and get their input uh, from my office, as well as input from the Attorney General's office to see. As you know, she is, again, the Supreme Law Enforcement Officer uh, of the Government of Guam. He says that the Attorney General's office must do its due diligence and get to the facts of what has occurred in the Ninth Circuit, this complaint, and what is happening in other jurisdictions. As far as I'm concerned, too, um, I'm going to sit down with our lawyers and also uh, uh, get the necessary information. So that there are areas that are extrajudicial, that are more an executive line function, uh, that I can make the right decisions as, right, uh, as well. Reporting for Guam's News Network, again, I'm Jolene Tovez. I've sworn an oath. Whatever my, uh, whatever my personal uh, beliefs are,